All right, listen up. If you have a lump on your neck, check it ASAP. Did you know that your skin is a great litmus test to check what's going on within your body? That's right, your skin can tell you how healthy your system is. And even though most bumps and lumps on the surface are completely harmless, some, especially if they're on your neck and ears, can signal more dangerous or even life-threatening issues. But before you find out all the crucial details, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to never miss a thing on the bright side of life. If you've noticed a sizable lump behind your ear or on the side of your neck, and you're prone to acne, this may be what brought it on. It could also be a lymphoma. It sounds scary, I know, but this is just a harmless cluster of fat cells that have gathered under the skin. However, if days go by and this lump doesn't change one bit, you could be dealing with a serious problem that needs treatment as soon as possible. So, here are a few things you should certainly do. 1. Have your lump checked for cancerous cells. According to the American Cancer Society, a lump or mass on the neck may be caused by nasopharyngeal cancer, or NPC for short, that has spread to the lymph nodes in your neck. And this concerns any sort of lumps on both sides of your neck toward the back of it. In this case, the lump usually isn't painful at all. Luckily, there are other hard-to-miss symptoms that scream NPC, including impaired hearing, nasal blockages and nosebleeds, blurred vision, facial pain or numbness, and headaches. However, even if you don't have any of these symptoms, it's still best to schedule a visit with your doctor just in case. A lump behind your ear can also be bad news, given that these formations also accompany certain types of cancer, like skin cancer for example. Just like lumps on the neck, they can be completely painless. In some cases, they get bigger over time, which can give you a major clue. But instead of waiting for the situation to change on its own, consult your doctor immediately to put your worries to rest. Chances are, they'll perform a biopsy to check if the mass is cancerous so that they'll know whether treatment or removal is needed. 2. Have your lymphatic system checked. The lymphatic system is a crucial part of the immune system. It works to remove bacteria and other toxins from our bodies by trapping and destroying them. So when the lymphatic system breaks down, our lymph nodes become enlarged and tender. In most cases, these swollen glands indicate simple infection, but they can be a sign of a dangerous condition. According to the American Cancer Society, lumps on the neck, underarms, or groin are one of the most common symptoms of Hodgkin lymphoma. This is a type of cancer that starts in the white blood cells. Of course, there are other symptoms that accompany these lumps, such as night sweats, significant weight loss, fever, and persistent cough. But even if you're not experiencing any of that, it's always best to have your swollen lymph nodes checked by your doctor. 3. Get checked for an infection. Some viral and bacterial infections can provoke mastoiditis, which is an inflammation of the mastoid bone that's located behind the ear. Mastoiditis, in its turn, causes the infected bone to protrude and form a lump behind the ear. Generally speaking, the most common infections that can do that are mononucleosis, strep throat, ear infection, chickenpox, and the measles. So, if you're ever sick, always get treated and don't wait for it to go away on its own. Believe it or not, a minor infection can turn into something much worse. Number 4. Check if your lump is caused by sebaceous cysts. One of the most trivial yet very common causes of ear and neck lumps is sebaceous cysts. They basically form in damaged or blocked sebaceous glands. Due to certain injuries like scratches, wounds, or acne, sebaceous glands or their passages can become impaired. They'll then start forming a cyst that you can see under the skin of your neck or behind your ear. Even though it doesn't sound very bad, visiting your doctor is absolutely necessary in this situation. After all, only a doctor can tell you what this lump actually is and whether or not it requires special treatment or removal. Most of the time, a visual examination is enough. But if it's not so clear-cut, your doctor may have to do some additional testing 
to find out all the details and get you started on the most effective treatment. When it comes to sebaceous cysts, they don't just appear on your neck or around your ears. They can also show up on your scalp or on your forehead as a result of blocked sweat glands. These types of sebaceous cysts are quite dangerous as well, since the blocked sweat gland will keep on producing sweat that can't get out. That means the cyst gets bigger and bigger to the point that it can get in your way when you're combing your hair or bangs. So don't hesitate to visit your doctor as soon as possible. In severe cases, you'll probably have no other choice than to remove the cyst surgically. Another common type of lump that can appear basically anywhere in your body is a lymphoma. Remember that harmless cluster of fat cells we touched on earlier? Well, even though lymphomas are usually nothing to worry about, they can get pretty big and turn into lymphosarcoma, which is a cancer of the connective tissues. So, how can you actually tell if your lump is bad news? Dr. Martin Godfrey, the head of research and development at Minerva Research Labs, says that harmless lumps caused by minor infection are easy to spot. They usually get really red and swollen right off the bat. If your lump doesn't look infected, is the same color as your skin, but keeps getting bigger after a week, it's time to pay a visit to your doctor. Painful and bleeding lumps need professional medical attention as well. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Nathan Mesco adds that benign or not harmful lumps are also soft and mobile, meaning they move or change form whenever you touch them. In some cases, their size can depend on how active you are as well. Certain lumps can turn into large and painful formations if you're too active, but calm down and diminish when you decide to take it easy. However, if your doctor confirmed that you're actually dealing with a harmless lymphoma, there are some effective natural remedies that can help you reduce it and get your skin back to normal. The first natural healer is turmeric. It contains a compound called curcumin, which helps shrink the lymphoma and even prevent it from appearing later. Just mix 1 teaspoon of turmeric with 2 tablespoons of olive or coconut oil until you get a smooth paste. Apply it to your lymphoma, cover it with a bandage, and let it do its magic. Sage herb can also provide your skin with all the right components to rid you of your lymphoma. Just apply sage extract to the affected area every day to let it dissolve the lump naturally and balance the fluids in your body. It may take some time, but you will get the results you're looking for. Your diet can also affect the size and condition of your lymphoma. Junk foods only puts more toxins in your system, when what you need to do is cleanse your body to remove the fatty tissue inflammation that caused your lipoma in the first place. So add more fruits and veggies to your diet, especially apples, citruses, peppers, and raspberries. Switching to more fish and less meat would be a smart move too, given that the omega-3 fatty acids in fish are known for reducing inflammation. Going for herring or trout will treat your system to an additional dose of vitamin B12, which is extremely beneficial for your health overall. So, do you know any other types of bad lumps that better be checked? Please share this important information in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side.